This is Ben Daru. Over the last five months, it sold hundreds of snacks to middle and high schoolers. And despite all the banging, it works just like new. Here's how I built it. I started by drawing out what I wanted it to look like. First I had to build the box. I used the CNC machine for the front door, which has plexiglass embedded in wood. Then I started putting the electrical components in, which got more complicated, and more complicated, and more complicated. Okay, this is probably not how you're supposed to cut a hole. Here I am trying to figure out how the bill acceptor works. Putting on some shelf holders, soldering the motors to the jumper wires. It's time to install the back door. Here I am installing the front door. I cut this plexiglass for the middle divider so that you can actually see the components while you're using the machine. I needed to cut my toenails. To prevent the wires in the back from getting tangled, I laser cut this back wooden plywood piece. I also laser cut these plexiglass separators, which were good for separating the snacks um, and making sure they lean upright. Here are the components for the box, and here are the electrical components. I got the bill acceptor from eBay. The hard part was getting the springs and DC motors. After some fun back and forth with Chinese manufacturers, I had all the parts that I needed. Given that a vending machine cost $3,000 to $5,000, this is like a tenth of the price. The next part was programming the Arduino Mega to communicate with different parts. You can see the code on GitHub. It tells the Arduino to listen to the bill acceptor for when money is inserted and the keypad for when a snack number is pressed. When there's enough money, it turns the snacks motor. Okay, so the way it works is that the customer will put in the number of the snack that they want, one through eight, and then put in the appropriate amount of money um, and that will trigger the spring to turn um, and the snack will come out and they can collect it down here. Uh, and this thing also prevents stealing because you can't like open it and, and reach up there. But you can reach down here and get what's come out. We can get a better look of the connections to the DC motors here in the back. As you can see, every motor has a ground and power wire which is connected through MOSFET transistors to the Arduino Mega. Benderu has four locked doors for collecting money, restocking on snacks, and doing maintenance. I had a lot of fun making Benderu. It was basically everything I've ever wanted to do in one project. Mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, product design, part sourcing, and entrepreneurship. It really confirmed to me that I want to be a mechanical engineer, which was very helpful to learn. Also, it's just cool knowing that while I'm sitting in class, some students are using my machine and that it can operate just fine without me being there for a week. It's been super satisfying to see the kids use it as well. You have two minutes, Olivia. I need to get a good clock. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.